in this video we are going to see the construction and working of disc brake disc brakes are lighter in weight they are used in place of we can say drum brake because the cooling action is more the brake cools off very easily in case of disc brake now first of all see how many parts are there in the disc brake to understand the construction as we can see here we are having the friction pad which is in the form of grains shown here after friction pad here we have the friction pad plate which is provided to strengthen the friction surface then we are having a piston here after that we have one outer cylinder casting or we can say the casing here this is the outer cylinder inside which we have another inner cylinder then we have fluid passages see even disc brake when they are operated in case of automobiles there we are using oil as a medium to transfer the force so for the passage of oil there is fluid passages given here through these channels the oil would be flowing then we have friction pad plate and piston here there is fluid inlet fluid inlet means from this region here the oil would be entering into the system next this is the disc which we want to stop the disc is rotating because if we look at disc brake in that we are having a disc and this brake is clamping that disc so here is the disc which we want to stop this would be rotating continuously now after understanding the construction of disc brake now let us see how it functions first of all when we are pressing the brake pedal or in case of bikes if we are pressing we can say if we are pressing the brake lever in that case through the linkage what happens is that oil would be flowing the brake oil which we are filling inside the automobile the brake oil it would be passing through the passages suppose it, it passes through the first passage then it goes into the other passage now when the oil it would be passing since that oil is a high pressure oil it will exert a force on this piston and this piston when the oil is filled completely here it would be moving towards left here i am showing you this example similarly i would be explaining the one here so at first when the oil enters it would be passing through all the fluid passages pushing the piston towards the disc next when the piston moves towards the disc at that time we are having friction pad plate the friction pad plate and the friction surface they would be moving because of the piston towards left and hence they would be completing this gap because this small gap which we are seeing here because of this gap the disc is able to rotate freely but when we are applying the brakes this gap is filled or it is this gap is eliminated by using the friction plate so friction plate from both the sides will try to move towards the disc and when they are moving towards the disc they would be clamping they would be catching the disc and when they are catching the disc the vehicle stops it means the rotation of the disc it stops and in other words it is stopping the wheel which is rotating because disc brake is mounted on the wheel so similarly as i have explained here the oil would also be flowing over these pistons through these passages and when the oil passes through the passages it would be pushing the piston on the left side towards the disc and when they are moving towards the disc again they would be trying to complete this gap completely close this gap and this results in a clamping action a catching action which stops the disc and when the disc gets stops the wheel gets stopped automatically and this was the disc brake the advantage of disc brake is that when we are stopping the disc at that time lot of heat is generated 
so when you compare drum brake with disc brake in case of drum the entire brake assembly is closed inside a casing but in case of disc brake the disc brake is open to atmosphere so cooling of the brake is better it is much better in case of disc brake and next disc brakes they are lighter in weight they are more efficient when you compare it with drum brake so when we see mostly now in case of automobiles we are seeing this change in the automobile industry that they are applying or they are using more amount of disc brake because of simple construction because of less number of parts because of more amount of cooling action so with this we complete disc brake